my dear learner today we are going to discuss about a second lecture of chromatography it is uh, based on this classifications of uh, chromatography because the classification of chromatography is important to learn uh, individual chromatography technique let us see the first is i have classified a chromatography based on the two mechanism the first is that is a based on a mobile face and another one is that is based on the mechanism of actions so based on what mechanism it is going to be uh, distributed and that is based on a mobile face let us see how is it so classification based on a face that is mobile face so first is liquid because as we know that a mobile face is basically made up of a uh two phase. there are two there, there are total three phase one is solid liquid and gas basically we know that uh mobile phase can never be a, a a solid it could be a liquid or it could be a gas so these are the two mobile phases are there so we are classified based on that so first is liquid phase Second one is a gas chromatography, and the third one is a supercritical fluid chromatography. So, in case of liquid phase chromatography, if you see here, so it is based on a mobile phase and a stationary phase. The further bifurcations. This classification is based on mobile phase, but individual classification is based on a mobile phase and stationary phase. Basically, stationary phase are made up of two. One is solid, and another one is liquid. The first is we can say that liquid solid. Second one is liquid liquid. Third one is liquid bound phase. liquid bound phase then iron chromatography then we have a size exclusion chromatography this two are also a liquid chromatography then say the gas chromatography in case of gas chromatography i can say uh, gas solid gas liquid so we have gas liquid chromatography and gas solid chromatography and we have one more thing it is supercritical fluid chromatography also so in case of liquid phase chromatography we see some more data so mobile phase is basically what it is made up of liquid in case of liquid chromatography liquid solid chromatography so that is based on adsorption wherever the stationary phase is solid the mechanism is adsorption stationary phase is solid is solid medium then we have which which mechanism there are two types of mechanism one is phase option is phase isostron and another one is cam isostron phase isostrons and another one is cam isostrons based on that mechanism that is this two are the adsorption so adsorption classified into two one is phase of phase ice options and another one is cam ice options right then we have liquid liquid chromatography when a stationary phase is liquid then i can say easily say that a mechanism is nothing but it is a partition So in this case, stationary phase is immobilized liquid upon the inert and porous material. So, like a solid, we cannot pack uh, individually in a column. So we have to make a immobilized upon inert and 
porous material. So which has only mechanical role of support. So whatever, suppose I have, this is porous material. This is not a mobile base, but it is porous material. So that porous material is a support material. On that we add polymer. So liquid bound phase chromatography. The stationary phase is generally liquid polymer. So in case of bound phase, we have a liquid polymers. So preferably fixed by the covalent bond. So in case of so that also, but it is no covalent bond. In case of immobilized station, there is no covalent bond. When we say this is bound phase, a liquid. In case of solid, we do not require a bound or a, uh, immobilized. In case of solid, that is packed. In case of liquid, we require to immobilized or bound. Then ion chromatography, the mobile phase is uh, nothing but it is buffer because ions are present in buffer and buffer is made up of the liquid. So we can say it is buffer solutions. Then the solid stationary phase has a subset. Surface composed of ionic sites. Here is surface composed of a ionic sites. That is a solid stationary phase. Size so exclusion chromatography. So in case of also that stationary phase is a material. So it's a material. It has pores because size is depend on the pores. So we require to add some pores in a stationary phase. So here what happened? Suppose I have a stationary phase and that stationary phase has some pores. So pores is very important. So size of the pores is also important in case of size exclusion chromatography. So in case of gas chromatography, mobile phase is generally gas. So basic classifications. So further based on the, uh, mobile phase and stationary phase, gas liquid, stationary phase is again a liquid. Liquid as such we have to immobilize or bonding on what support material because solid suppose I have a solid I can pack the solid I can pack the solid and due to that packing I can increase the surface area. But in case of liquid, we have to fill like this. So when we fill like this, then there is nothing. There is no that much surface area. Only surface area is this one. So to increase surface area, what we are doing, we are packing it on a stationary phase. Gas and solid. So in case of solid, there is no required. Stationary phase is porous solids. And such as graphites. Silica gel. Then alumina. Supercritical fluid chromatography. In case of mobile phase, we have is a fluid in its supercritical state. So such as that is in carbon dioxide. That is CO2. At about a 50 degree Celsius temperature and 150 bar. At 50 degree Celsius temperature and 150 bar temperature, carbon dioxide is converted to the liquids. Is it? Stationary phase can be, uh, in case of that, it can be a liquids. Or it can be a solid. So it is based on the supercritical groups. Let us say based on mechanism. So there are uh, adsorption, partition, ion exchange, then permission that is size. That is depend on size. Then affinity, then electrophores. In case of adsorption, so we have mobile phase that is gas or liquid. So in case of adsorption, the first is gas solid second one is liquid chromatography so gas solid sorry liquid solid 
high performance liquid chromatography that is a specialized form of liquid chromatography that is known as also uh, HPLC then thin layer chromatography so in case of that also we have uh, liquid solids so we have gas solid liquid solid liquid liquid so i can say gas solid then liquid liquid special light liquid liquid and liquid solid so gas liquid so here now in case of partition stationary phase is liquid here in all case stationary phase is solid so there is no possibility of liquid chances so here again a gas and liquid so we have gas liquid then we have supercritical fluid that also containing this one then liquid liquid then paper chromatography see it's a very important thing the paper chromatography is also in partitions chromatography ये क्वेश्चन बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है हमारे लिए क्योंकि आपको लगेगा कि भाई पेपर तो सॉलिड है तो उसमें क्यों गई इट हैज नो लिक्विड इवन दो इट इज अ लिक्विड स्टेशनरी फेज इज लिक्विड बट दैट वी विल सी इन डिटेल हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेट्रोग्राफी दैट इज आल्सो एचपीएलसी कम इन बोथ इट हैज अ सॉलिड स्टेशनरी फेज और लिक्विड बाउंड स्टेशनरी फेज आई एक्सचेंज क्रोमेट्रोग्राफी हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेट्रोग्राफी वी हैव आल्सो दैट इज एचपीएलसी permission that is a size exclusion chromatography we have permission chromatography also that is size exclusion chromatography then affinity chromatography that is dna antigen antibody reactions then in case of electrophoresis we have capillary electrochromatography so these are the basically we have to classify as based on the mechanism so this simple attempt i have done and i hope you learn the uh, classifications that help us to understand this concept so if you like this video then share and subscribe so remaining people can also learn thanks so thanks a lot